Hello, Bread Fiesta here, and welcome back to Let's Play Spyro 3, Year of the Dragon. In the last episode, we finished up the Midday Gardens by completing Bentley the Yeti's section on the Bamboo Terrace, which was not fun. So hopefully we're going to find the fun in the Frozen Altars. The uh, Frozen Altars will not falter. The fun will be found. Finally. Welcome to Frozen Altar, Spyro. Thank you. On behalf of the Ice Fairies, I want to grant you a special power for as long as you stay in our world. Okay. I love special powers. Oh, it was just a, an ice kiss. That's nice. That was kind. In the Frozen Altars... Uh, we have 600 gems. Somehow we've collected two already. Uh, and our first task of six eggs is to melt the snowmen. So that's easy. We breathe fire. It's not a concern at all. All right. Melt the snowmen, huh? There's a... I don't see any snowmen. There's a duck. Ooh, I do like this music, though. What? Oh, our f oh, we got ice breath. Can does this not? Okay, we can't. Um. Oh well, we can just charge the the smoldering piles. Man, this is. I really like the color of it. It's a real deep blue. Uh, excuse me, sir. Oh, wow, that was a really big reach, huh? Wow. Okay, uh, well, that's not really how um, that's supposed to work. Hello. Some bear sold us a laser defense system to protect us from Rhinox. But with these flippers, I can't even turn it on. You'd have no trouble using it, though. Just walk inside. When you're done, press the triangle button and you'll walk back out. Alex just seems like he's done with money bags, which honestly, same. Oh, okay. So this is, uh, I guess, how we melt things then. Let's see if we can't get that. Uh, oh, we can't reach the laser. Um, that's not really a laser. It's just reflecting the sun. So this is really not like a... Uh, particularly um, here let's point it here so we don't have to worry about accidentally burning our butts just chill out Alex It's everything will be fine we don't need to worry about money bags he sucks anyway we didn't even see this guy the laser Hi, Zoe. Okay, so there still is... I bet if we were to jump off of here, we could probably do, like, some sequence breaking. Um, because then Zoe would put us back up here, even though we haven't been there yet. That's probably a speedrunning tactic. Alright, where are you? Right there, huh? I haven't seen any fodder yet in the level, which is I like that in the later worlds. Uh, Spiral 1 did that too, where okay, I forgot about this guy's giant reach. Okay. Maybe it's not a speedrunning tactic because it doesn't really save you too much time. That uh, Zoe skip. If you're not going for... If you're going... No, because if you're going for 100%, then you need to go up there anyway. Um, if you're not going for 100%... Alright, need to dodge this guy and then... Whew. Okay. Where'd the thing go? Alright. Didn't even see what the, the thing was. Hey, there's an egg. 
I haven't really found any high spots to jump off of yet. What do you want? Eustace and I were having a snowman building competition when the sorceress brought them to life with a spell. Since then, they've been stomping around, building ice walls, and generally causing trouble. I'm sorry for you and Eustace, Ernest. Okay. Stop moving. There we go. I guess that up there is pretty high. I heard that. Cool. Oh, great. Ice. Alright. I remember this guy's gigantic range. What? That was kind of bogus. It would be easy to get up to that treasure if you had something to stand on. It would be it would be so easy to get up to that treasure if we had something to stand on. Mm. Oh, it was a purple. Nice. I guess that's a cool thing about how uh you know, increasing the total number of gems in the level is that there's going to be more purples. Okay. Put ourselves in a little bit of danger there. But we are fine. Excuse me. Here's a... That guy's going to throw stuff at us. Alright, get to Zoe. Alright, we're fine. Okay. There's only been the one little fodder thing we've seen in the entire level. So, and there's a snowman. Everything's fine. All right, take that, uh, pill of swine. Oh, I like how they fall on their uh, tusks, like the um, like the bulls. And I heard one. Okay, thought it was coming for me. Okay, well, there's a throwy guy. We always catch them right on the backswing. This is. Oh, okay. Laser turret. I like how as they get smaller. Oh, I thought their voices were going to get deeper as they get smaller. How? There. Can I get... <laughs> they get more burn. That's funny. Okay. All right, and we can get the boxes. So that's neat. Or chests. The baskets. Okay. Just be careful. We have ice breath. We're fine. No need to go fast. We're not in any rush here. Oh, wonderful. How tremendous and splendid. Another Bentley section. I sure can't wait to walk up a hill. Or other such exciting things as uh, maybe we'll, I don't know, clip our fingernails. Thrilling. <laughs> Inside, indoors, money bags. Alright, let me guess. You're going to be like all John Deere and be like, oh, this one needed some extra Say, maintenance. Spyro, you're a sports fan, aren't you? No. As you probably know, Frozen Altars is the birthplace of the great sport of cat hockey. Today's match is sold out, of course, but I just happen to have a spare ticket that I'll sell you for, say, a teensy small fee. Teensy markup. Teensy weensy markup, huh? Eight hundred gems for a hockey ticket. I don't. Head on in 
ring, Spyro. It should be a thrilling match. Nice. In fact, <laughs> I've even placed a little wager on the Rhinoc team. Let's just hope the local team doesn't have any last-minute accidents. What in the world? We can't even freeze him. Also, money bags is the most powerful. <laughs> Accent. <laughs> I hate to spoil the game for you, Spyro, but I've already bribed the local team to forfeit to the Rhinox. I don't know about that. The local team is pretty good, I heard. All right, what do you want? Thanks for helping out, Spyro. Why don't you take this? The Rhinox were trying to fry it with a laser, but you stopped them just in time. Yeah, we sure did. I remember doing that. That logically follows. Hi, Jaina. Nice bow. Oh, this must have been the door from the, uh, at the beginning of the level, yeah. There's the exit. Okay, so we got Bentley, we have, uh... Cat hockey. Man. Hockey. Oh, okay. I didn't expect that, huh? He was cheering afterwards. You know, I kind of expected him to just kind of throw it at, like, eye level. Not to aim it upwards at me. Okay. You know, we haven't even seen uh, another ice fairy like Gabrielle. Okay. The, I like how they just pop. Well, I don't know if I actually like that. I think something a little more, like, if they left behind, like, a cooked, like, chicken leg or something. Even though they're not chickens, but, like, that sort of, like, a cartoony meat. I think that would have been funnier. Can we... Okay, we can even superheat the metal uh, chests, baskets, vases, vases. Get our enjoyment. Get our thrills out of the laser. Because again, we gotta have... Get as much, like, thrilling action as we can. Because after this, we got Hockey and Bentley. So, we're just gonna try our absolute best to salvage this. There's some good, uh... Oh, sorry. We didn't need to do that because that was one of the two fodder in the entire level. So, probably didn't need to be wasting that. Okay. So, I think this is going to be a bunch of, uh... Like, careful, tricky jumps to get to all the places we need to get to. Like that. That was really how that should have gone. This is going to be Metalhead all over again. Okay. Well, okay, do we even need to go up there? Because I don't see any gems. So maybe we just need to get over to there? Can we reach that? So maybe we do need to go, like, from here to this one. If we can reach this. I think so. Because up there is definitely the next place we need to go. So maybe... Maybe we get on the other side of this tower? Excuse me. Yeah, okay. I have an idea. Maybe we just go around... No. Did I miss something down there? Oh no, it was just the, that guy respawned. Okay. Now we're over here.
No, I don't... Because I don't even think from there we could make it to here. Let's just keep thinking about it. Let's do a run through the level again. Because we didn't miss anything, I'm pretty sure. But again, it's good to check. Excuse me, wall. Yeah, because we gotta get up to that somehow. Oh, you know what? There it is. Okay. Got a purple. That's nice. I feel like there's an extra, like, musical element happening up here. That I didn't hear in the song before, but maybe I'm wrong. Well, there's also a basket down there, so we gotta, uh... When we come back around to here after we pick up this egg. Okay. Come on, camera. Well, that one wasn't very hard at all. Hi, Cecil. I get it, man. other place I can think of where we still need to go. Oh, how come we can... How come we couldn't make it that time? I knew we should. I, I knew... Hold on. Say that again. I knew we should have bought the automated laser defense system. I mean, you didn't say it with the right inflection. Uh, put the emphasis on the right syllables, but... Okay. Thank you. All right, so I think we need to still go over there. I think there's gonna be something over here. Make a series of small jumps. Uh, it doesn't look like we can stand on that though. Oh, we can't. This isn't what we need to do. We need to go over to that turret. Because there are gems over there. Okay. There is an egg. Alright, so we did need to get onto that thing there. There's three reds, nothing else. Can we get up to here? We can. Okay. So how, um, I mean, I, I, uh, I have an idea, and it's, uh, we gotta make a really big, like, blind jump, which are the sort of jumps I usually like to do in Spyro. I think they're fun. These ducks must have like a really naturally high like body temperature to be able to melt themselves so quickly. Okay. So what we need to do is just do a big old, uh, just like that. Oh, I don't feel like we're high enough to be able to get up to the egg. Take a look from this direction. These steps. <laughs> yeah, okay, so it's over there. 
I guess from the top of the tower, you might be able to make it there. You just have to be really careful about your jumps. Doing those like big loops throughout the whole level really just makes you realize how small the level actually is. Can we walk on this? No. Maybe there's a broken, uh, breakable wall? No. It's just the sun is going to tease us. Okay, so we just got to make a uh, a jump. Kind of like that, but like better. Okay. This gives us a good like... Yeah, I think we can do it. It's just that, that kind of first turn, that first corner is a little difficult. The Really the blind corner is the one that's the challenge. Oh, my computer went to sleep. Or not like to sleep, but I should probably actually make sure that it doesn't affect the recording. Aha, I got it on the first try. See, I was going to be all silent and like edit it out in case I, it took me multiple tries, but I got it on the first try, so it didn't even matter. Good job, Jasper. You really did a, a great job. Also, is this a ledge? So, what what you're telling... I, well, I can't even walk right, so maybe the ledge wouldn't have helped us. But, <clears throat> what you're telling me is... I did not have to make that blind jump. I could have instead just done a couple of these easier jumps that I had in fact actually done previously to jump to here to get the gems that were here and then to jump to here which I had done before but whatever. Well, let's do Bentley. Let's get him over with. 